Hi, welcome back to Let's Build, and today we're going to fulfill two different viewer requests, and we're going to build three cars, so you might want to use the chapter marks. Back in the day, I've had two three-litre Capris, and they were great fun. I had friends with Scirocco's, I've had a Nissan 200SX, which is what we call the Silvia in the UK, because you don't want a car named after your great aunt. These were all cheap, affordable coupes, but they don't seem to exist anymore. Everybody's been told they have to sit three inches higher up in a box, otherwise they'll die a flaming death. So uh, we don't have those sort of cars, unfortunately. The cars like this that Toyota made, the AE86, a fantastic rear drive, affordable coupe. Quick bit of homework. The car came as the Trueno, if I've said that correctly, which was pop-up headlights, the car that you see here, the Puto GTX, effectively. It also came as the car that the regular Futo is based on, that was called the Levin, and that was with the fixed front. Now it could come with either sort of back end. You could have the lift back like you see here, or the coupe like you see on the regular Futo. This gives you four combinations of uh, front and back you can have, but we only have, I'm afraid, two combinations in the game to build on, so sometimes we have to squint a little. Until two weeks ago, I would have just said to you, Mm, there's a lot of liveries, there's a lot of stuff you can do with the standard Futo. Make sure that's not enough before you invest in the GTX. But of course then we got the drifting like you see here. And with that, that raises the GTX way above the regular car in my opinion, almost infinitely above. It also has a few extra liveries and uh, extra ways that you can modify the body. So a really great buy now. And as soon as you get it, your first port of call should be the car meet to fit the drift modifications, which you can see obviously are on this car. 200,000 and you get all the performance parts to maximum and this wonderful drift mechanic. It actually puts some drive through the front axle. Anyway, our first request build is the car you're seeing here, Kaichi Suchia's Truano. And Kaichi has been drifting for about 30 years. I think he's regarded as one of the drifters in the world so it seems very appropriate that I was asked to build his car. So enough drifting into the workshop. As discussed this car now has the drift modification at the car meet and that replaces all of the performance parts. It has full armour and bulletproof tyres. So going through the list starting with chassis for the intercooler I think the stock one looks the best. The other ones seem to add things that I can't see behind the grille on Kai Chi's car. Onto the doors, we don't want any wind deflectors, so they remain stock. On the fog lights, I have put these two lights in here, and the reason is to reference the lights that are in the bumper here on Kai Chi's car. You could miss them off if you didn't like that reference. And for the roll cage, I didn't have any really great interior pictures, but for every picture I looked at, and from every angle I looked at, I just couldn't see a roll cage. Perhaps he's just that good, so I've got no roll cage. I don't usually do the under bonnet stuff, I think it's basically a waste of money, so I've got nothing in the whole of this engine section. With the exhaust, I thought the big bore exhaust looked the best of the available ones. Moving on to fenders, there's no form of wide body kit at all on Kai Chi's car, so we're saying stock, but those wide body options are good for some other cars. Stock headlights, the rest just raising them up and down in various ways. And for the hood, I so wish I could put a green hood on the car, I really do. That's his signature colour, it's his race suit colour, it's green. But I can't, and I can't even really do it through the secondary because it paints too much of the car, which we'll discuss later. So I've gone carbon hood at least to get as close as I can and it's okay at night when you can't tell the difference in the colours so it's a good uh, night street drifting machine. Internally the bulk of Kai Chi's car looks stock from the photos I could see so I've gone carbon tuner seats because there are definitely some racier seats in the car and otherwise an apex basic wheel looked right and as you saw the stock dash looked fine. Uh, lights I've left the yellowy stock lights on here for this older car and for the livery I reckon you have a choice of two there's not much written on Kai Chi's car so have the classic decals although you might think oh they remind you too much of the standard Futo and if that's the case you could go for delivery boy the next one down either of those just puts a little bit on the side of the car that references the bit on Kai Chi's as you can see there's quite a few other liveries available and some of these do reference real drift cars 
um, especially this one here. If you paint the car yellow, you get the, I think is it Wind Auto team? Uh, so that is a good livery and something in fact I have considered doing on the car before. Onto the plates. Well, whilst you'll be picking your own plate, it's good to know where you're going to put the front plate holder. And here I've put a central one on, but you can move it left or right as well. I stuck with a blue on white theme. I think it works best on this car. On to the colours then. I've simply painted the car in classic ice white on the primary and the secondary. But I'd like you to look at the secondary because what I really wanted to do was put a black colour to get black on the front and back bumpers. But you see the problem is you get black all the way around the car. You get far, far more black than is on Kai Chi's car. Which is something I find frustrating about both of the Futos. And of course it also means I can't have a green secondary on the bonnet because my secondary would be down here as well. And I just think the amount of black there changes the overall look of the car too much. Which is why I've accepted going white on the primary and on the secondary and having simply too much white on the bumpers. For the trim colour I just stayed with a black inside. And for the accent I don't know what Toyota's signature colour for lights are. So I just left it as ice white on there. Now what you see me doing now is I'm going to put on a crew colour which is pure white and it's not necessary to be honest to use pure white with this particular livery but you'll see why I'm using it on a later car and I just thought I may as well put it on here. The roof remains stock, the side panel you definitely want the primary or the secondary bump strips to get rid of the black lines and for the skirts when you look at Kai Chi's car the front spitter is lower than the skirt and so I think the stock skirt works perfectly. The spoilers the high lip spoiler is really close in design so an easy pick there. Couldn't see any sun strips on the car. The suspension all the Futos sit really low and so stock suspension is already fine for this car. If we move on to Choosing the wheels took a while, but you have to remember that we do not have a high profile tyre with a very thin tyre wall on, like that for example. So we know we're looking for the higher profile tyres which are low rider, muscle, tuner, the first part of the street category really, as we're not going to put an off-road tyre on. So that restricts where we're going to look, and I've chosen these five star wheels out of the muscle class, and I do think they're the closest. We have the chrome ring we have the five spokes i think they're a little bit broad but overall this to me evokes kai chi's wheels by far the closest Why for any discontinuity i recorded this bit the next day i missed a bit out anyway there's no tints on the windows we don't need any window spoilers nice to see they're on there though and lastly bumpers i don't know why it's at the end well with the front bumper the stock one is simply not deep enough. The drift bumper is pretty good and you may well want the drift bumper. But I was so anxious to reference some of the black on the bumpers of Kai Chi's car that I actually went with this attack bumper. It's good but you do get those support struts. So I would say drift bumper or attack bumper you choose. All the bottom half are for the wide body kits anyway. And a stock rear bumper. And that completes the build. My next request comes from George W. Bush and I was honoured that the next president of the States would write to me asking for a build, but there we go, I'm sure it is him. I do have my regular Futo with everything to the max, but I just rebuilt that as a real world drift car and I didn't want to take it apart, so I just picked this one up from the street and then did the mods. But you can pretend it's all to maximum, can't you? Starting with the bumpers, we're going Retro Racer Kit, which is great. It gives you the full wide body. I mean, you look at this, a car that used to cost, I think, nine grand and is now free to be able to have those. There's a number of rear bumpers on the car, but the Turn 14 one is not particularly deep. So I've gone with stock. I think you could perhaps think maybe about custom, but don't go any deeper than that. As discussed with the previous car, we can't paint them black, which is most frustrating. 
The turn 14 car has a side exhaust, as you can see on the left photo, so they're all wrong. I just went with the stock exhaust. I don't see the point of having a massive, massive pipe when it's in the wrong place. It has four plastic bars on the grill, same as this one, so that's perfect. So black grill there and stock hood. I'm skipping the livery till later with the plate being up to you. The car is simply painted in a classic ice white on the primary and on the secondary and the same limitations around the bumpers and the same frustrations apply as they did on the previous car. If you didn't watch the previous car I would like black bumpers but I don't want the middle of the lower part of the car to be black as well and in fact the arches in this case that would just look terrible. On to roll cage then and I could definitely see one in the car so we'll take the roll cage and chassis upgrade. The roof will just be stock, although you can have one single roof spoiler even on the standard car. Custom skirts seem to work here because I want it to be level with the front splitter and I think I need that bit of extra depth here to get it level. But you will notice there's quite a step up to the rear bumper on the turn 14 car. So that looks about right there. There's a huge and aggressive wing on the Turn 14 car, so we're going to take our hugest and most aggressive wing, which is the Drift Wing, under spoilers. I have lowered it one onto lowered suspension. Stock would also be just about okay, but you don't want to go any lower than those two, because otherwise you'll be simply lower than the real car. When we move to the wheels, you see those very unique coppery gold parts on this car. Well, they simply don't exist in the game, so we have to find something that evokes the wheel. And if you go into the street category, you will find V8 Killer. And V8 Killer has a chrome dish. I mean, not as deep. I mean, you can never have these ultra wide wheels in the game. But we have a chrome dish and we have an interior that is at least very close, I would say, to the interior of the wheel that we want. It has, uh, what's that, uh, six spokes. And if you want five spokes instead, there's another one called Cup Champion. But either of these works the best and simply paint the centers in gold. Add the atomic tire writing and you won't need any tinted windows. So that completes the build apart from the livery. It's where the issue is when you're trying to make this famous car. You see we don't have a livery, not even close. And even on the GTX there isn't really much of a matching livery. But the diagonal lines here on Karen Rally Team, they match at least the diagonal lines on the Turn 14. So. I'm not sure you're going to recognize the car from the livery, but that is a strong choice. And so is Legendary Racer, again, because we've put some diagonal lines on the front of the car in the right place. And I'm sorry, Mr. President, but that is the closest I can do with the livery. Well, here we are out in the sunshine. It looks good. It's such a pity we can't get close to the Turn 14 livery, really. But I do hope that George W. Bush is happy nonetheless. And we're moving on now to the last car. This is the one built onto my main Futo. And this is Bo Yates's drift car. I'm showing it you before we go into the workshop. There's something you need to see on the roof. And I hope you can see that. It exists on other panels of the car as well, where the white of the livery is clashing with the ice white paint. Now we're going to resolve this in the auto shop, but the lights in there are too bright when you get to the workshop part and you won't be able to see what I'm doing. So that's why I'm showing you here. Also apologies, I've used this car for the outro and I filmed the outro before I corrected the paint. My car is maxed on armor, bulletproof tires and all performance parts. On the bumpers, the custom front splitter is pretty much a dead match. And on the rear bumpers, all we need is stock. The exhaust, I've gone for the titanium tuner exhaust. You could go for one or two of the other ones as well, but uh, it does have a large pipe out of the back. Black grille, like the previous car you saw, is a really close match, not perfect. And a carbon hood, because I wanted to get as much black as I could on the hood. We're missing some of the black from the livery that I would have ideally liked. I noticed when I filmed the outro, it's got xenons on. I slightly regret that. I think they should just have standard yellowy lights and I probably should have changed them back here. For the livery I picked Rolling Dude number 7 which is quite different but also quite the same if you see what I mean. You need to squint quite a lot but while we're squinting of course do note that the car here is a coupe and the real car is a liftback so yeah squinting is the name of the game. I put a red number plate on to go with that sort of livery. 
So you've seen the clash using classic ice white for the secondary and the primary color so i'm now putting on the crew color of pure white i'll put the hex in the description and that is the same pure white as the livery and all those annoying little bits then go away i would say if you can't do crew colors this is probably not the livery to use pick one that doesn't have any pure whites in it uh, we want the roll cage and chassis upgrade i can see that inside bo's car there stock roof and for the skirts, custom skirts, because they are quite low as you can see on the real car. The spoiler, the ducktail spoiler, looks really close. I like that one very much indeed, no problem there. On the suspension, same as the previous two cars, either stock or lowered is roughly where you want it. I've left it stock. And onto wheels, where of course we can't have, again, the awesome wheels that are on the car. So we're looking for signature things such as the very deep ditch with a couple of ridges running around that ring and a sort of meshy interior and the closest I can get to those is the Cosmo Mark II from the street category painted in gold of course they're not as impressive as the real car but they are close add the atomic tire writing in white and leave the window tints alone and that is the build complete there we are, three real world drift cars in one video please let me know down below firstly what you thought of the builds perhaps almost more important three builds in one video done in this format is that just too much is it too long did you use the chapter marks to just skip to the one you wanted or or what i just like to know that i know i'm behind with a few requests but loads of them are already filmed and in fact uploaded to youtube now i had a mammoth day on it yesterday so they'll be popping out one a day over the next few days if you like what you've seen and if you got even far enough to hear my request I would love a hit of the like button and of course a comment would be appreciated and a subscription if you like real cars in GTA. If you're one of the hardcore who's got this far well thank you very much uh, put the code word GT86 or you could use GR86 they are of course the modern versions of this car and thank you Toyota so much for making some of these cars even if the UK allocation did sell out in a lot less time than this video took to watch. I'd better be off. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for watching.